A memorial service was held at NAS Jacks on Saturday to honor members of Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 14 that were killed in Iraq in 2004. Seven members lost their lives in two separate incidences that occurred within three days of each other. In addition, 38 soldiers were injured. We stopped today for a few moments so we never forget the enormous price our brothers and their families paid so we and all Americans can live our lives without fear but in dignity. Family, friends, and survivors come together annually to recognize the victims, something battalion leaders believe is important to the families of those who lost their lives and to the future of the battalion. It gives us a, a, a greater resolve to move forward as a battalion, to never forget the past and keep those members with us in spirit. And uh, while we, we will never be the same ever again, uh, it will give us a, um, a, a courage and, and um, a sense of resolve that we've never had before moving forward. The scar is always going to be here. The scar will always be with us, but uh, it, it will make us stronger. The service gave NMCB 14 members a chance to visit with survivors, like retired third class petty officer Pete Herrick, who despite his injuries has kept a positive outlook. I was thrilled to hear that, uh, that they were going to have the ceremony. And, uh, just to be able to be here and uh, take part on, on a beautiful day, I mean, it means, means a lot to me. Herrick, who is the father of two, was one of the many soldiers critically injured by indirect mortar fire. What I remember was coming back from the galley, reaching the motor pool, and then my wife telling me that I'm okay. <laughs> I don't remember a thing. I, I never heard anything. Just, it absolutely, totally knocked me out. And I woke up six days later in Bethesda Naval Hospital. What really strikes me is when I look at my aches and pains and I start to complain about it or think about it, all I have to do is think about Petty Officer Herrick, who doesn't complain. And uh, you know, my aches and pains are gone. They're nothing compared to you know, what some of these families and what uh, he has gone through. Let us go forward in each day remembering that life that was given and, and let us turn around and remember those lives that were given because it can bring our, our lives to more meaning and purpose. Dwelly, Dickerson, Anderson, Ginther, Dawson, McHugh, Jenkins, they laid their life down. Let's respond. Let's respond by giving them respect and giving them their due. I thank you, your families. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to do this. God bless you.